So, quick brief, quick and brief history le lesson about the loss and the rediscovery of trigraphs. In 2009, United Kingdom suggested that we would deprecate trigraphs during the C++ OX um, feature reviews. Uh, I want to call this trigrexit. Is this too soon to make Brexit jokes? I'm sorry, Phil. Uh, Canada and IBM found this quite vexing. As usually happens when two nations clash over something like this, a year later, a solution was reached which satisfied no one. Trigrass removed raw string literals. Raw string literals were new, so no one had used them yet. No one missed the feature. I'm not sure if people actually use raw string literals. They're pretty awful. There, things settled for a while. 2014, Richard Smith, one man, just to compare him to the entire entirety of the United Kingdom, proposed removing trigraphs completely from C++ 17. Not deprecating, take them out. Wipe them from the face of the standard. Oddly enough, this time it succeeded. <laughs> By some odd coincidence, at the same meeting, Richard Smith became C++ project editor. Now, I'm not saying there's a connection here, you know, Trigrass could be removed because it was time. Richard may have become project editor not as a reward for having hobbled IBM's two remaining EBCDIC customers, but for actually his, long, his years of service, his demonstrate excellence in project, uh, project editing. That's the job title, standard editing, I apologize. IBM accepted this loss with graciousness. Um, maybe a small amount of passive aggressiveness, but the idea is there. So this, you know, this is a bit of a movement, but it happens. It's a uh, life. 2014 also was the year when the Evolution Working Group agreed to support U8 character literals, UTF character literals, to go with the UTF-8 string literals they already had. They requested wording for this. UTF-8 character literals were added explicitly limited to US ASCII characters. Might surprise you if you know anything about UTF-8. It shouldn't surprise you if you know a lot about UTF-8. The reason I mention this, and the reason this sounds like a conspiracy, is because this discussion was started and this wording was written by Richard Smith. <laughs> Twice as enemy action, that's not the expression. Anyway, I thought this was a bit shocking. And so, again, this is, thank you, Marshall, this is indeed three times that I actually had to cut the middle piece out. So, this is obviously a bit of an ASCII leaning here. Um, IBM called this out, IBM didn't name names, but has Richard Smith ever denied membership of the ASCII Illuminati? <laughs> so, this is, that was the death of trigraphs and the rise of the ASC, power of the ASCII Illuminati. Thankfully, Herb explained this morning what this operator is, because otherwise I would have explained that and blown my time budget completely. So this is operator spaceship. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see one, two, three characters in a token. That sounds a lot like a trigraph to me. It's a three, try, those who are paying attention. Technically, it's a three-character digraph, if you look at it that way. But what is it a trigraph for? Now, we all heard this morning, it's operator spaceship. If you're in GCC, it looks like that because they don't have UTF-8 support. The FAQ for GCC suggests running your code through a Perl, a one, Perl one liner. Those of you at my ACC lightning talk earlier, this is another occurrence of Perl traumatic stress disorder. That's actually not Unicode. That's what happened when PowerPoint auto-corrected Operator Spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> but it gave me an idea. Maybe that's what we should be a tri it should be a trigraph for. Oh, that in GCC. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the truth is out there. You want more stories like this? You want to discover the secret history of C++? It's all publicly on record at that URL, and URLs are linked from it. The real URL is about two pages long and has the year in it. Uh, those of you who don't know what a trigraph is, that's the hashtag, Ask Illuminati. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>